Hey, what's up, you guys? Today, I'll be going through a full comprehensive review of Bluehost. I'm going to go over everything you need to know about Bluehost web hosting, including why people chose Bluehost over other web hosts and how to make sure you're getting the most out of it when you're using it for your own website hosting. Now, there are plenty of other web hosting websites out there, but Bluehost stands out above the rest, particularly for its affordability. Aside from its affordability, it has great customer service and other features that I'll get into in this video. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a snack, and enjoy my in-depth Bluehost review. To start off, Bluehost has won Web Host of the Year, Editor's Choice, and Best Overall Hosting. Let me also mention that it's even recommended by WordPress itself. Also, when you join with Bluehost, you get innovative plugins, themes, seamless third-party integrations, and other things for your website for free. Okay, I'm going to go over the main qualities of Bluehost and why it's superior to other hosting companies. As usual, the links to the best deals and discounts are linked below. Their prices are already super affordable, but they brought them down just for you guys if you use the discount link down below. So, what's really great about Bluehost is how easy it is for beginners to use. A lot of us are just starting out our new websites and it's not easy to manage a whole website on our own. But Bluehost makes it super simple and easy to learn. It also encourages you to enrich your website by adding features like various content management systems just like WordPress. Websites carry a lot of stored data and information, so after a while when you've added a lot of content to your website, your site might slow down. Bluehost fixes that problem by allowing you to adjust the cache settings and delete the data that's stored on your website. You can find this on the performance tab here. Bluehost also gives you so many options on how you want to run your profile. Things like how you want comments to appear on the page, you can disable them or display them even after specific times as well, like 28 days. You can also add a coming soon page. A coming soon page can help keep your audience interested and tuned in when you're working on a new project. It gives them something to wait for and look forward to. You can edit your site URL here, which is super important for when you want to share your website. You want something that people can remember, something catchy and that's easy to type in. Not all websites give you that freedom. Performance. Alright, so performance is a crucial metric in measuring how good a web hosting company is. It can be measured using two metrics, the loading time of a website and the uptime of a website. The loading time of a website is basically how fast a website loads when it's opened by a user. To give you guys an idea of what a good loading time is, it's around 3 seconds. As a user, you probably understand the frustration of opening a website and it taking forever to load. So the faster the loading time of your website, the more likely users will return. Also, when you search up for particular websites, the ones that you see first are often ones that have a good loading time. Bluehost luckily has one of the fastest loading times. Uptime, on the other hand, is measured as a percentage, and in this case, Bluehost has one of the best, with an uptime of 99.98% over the span of a year. So with Bluehost, you'll never have to worry about your website going down or people being unable to access it. Bluehost doesn't just offer you a platform to host your website, it also gives you tips on what you should do. They don't just give you a platform and leave you, they'll help you out throughout. This is super helpful for those who are just starting and are unsure of the appropriate steps they need to take to make their website stand out. It can recommend things like customizing your design and even makes a to-do list for you to follow. So yeah, although it can be difficult to manage a whole website on your own, it's never too difficult with Bluehost. A free domain name for at least the first year comes with all purchases you make on Bluehost as well as a free SSL certificate. You're never charged extra for things like using up an exceptionally high amount of bandwidth. Of course, there are limitations that are in Bluehost's terms of services, but it's so rare for any website to exceed those that it's not a worry. If after all this, somehow you have an issue with Bluehost, maybe navigating the website or if you run into any random problem, Bluehost has impressive customer support. It is so relieving to know that you can talk to someone at any time to solve whatever issue or problem you face. You can contact them through the phone or if you're shy like most of us, you can email or message them and they'll respond to you 24 7 so you can always talk to them and they're always more than happy to help and i'm not the only one saying this a lot of people have experienced their great customer service so there are two main types of hosting based on which one you choose the price will vary 
The first one is a shared web hosting and the second is a dedicated hosting. Starting with shared hosting. Shared hosting is generally less expensive and meant for those who are just starting out. Basically, it means that you share your hosting space with other websites. But what exactly is shared hosting? Well, think of it as tenants sharing an apartment building. Except here, it's websites sharing the same server. You all get access to the same great features, like secure and automatic WordPress installation. Plus, tons of Dedicated hosting is when your space is only meant for your website. Therefore, it has better speed, security, and performance overall, but it is a little bit more expensive. Surprisingly though, despite its low price, shared hosting is what most people use because it's actually really good. I'm going to end this video off with their prices and their plans. So again, if you're just starting out and you're not completely relying on web hosting, I recommend the basic plan. It's impressive for its price as it's only around $3 per month. But if you compare the basic plan with the Choice Plus plan, it might be more worth it for you. Since the Choice Plus plan is only $1.50 more per month, you get a lot more perks. You get unlimited websites, unlimited SSD storage, which is super important for the data your website can handle and the speed at which it can operate. You also get unlimited park domains and unlimited subdomains. Whenever you feel like you want to upgrade or downgrade your plan ever, you can always do that very easily. And like I mentioned before, if you can't figure something out yourself, it's as simple as picking up the phone, messaging them, or emailing them. So guys, that's my review of Bluehost. Overall, I think Bluehost is a really good choice for most people starting out with building their own website or blog. As I've mentioned before, they have super affordable prices, good uptime and website loading speeds, and they're even recommended by WordPress themselves. Like, come on guys, it's WordPress. So I've left a discount link in my description if you're interested in trying it out for yourself. And let me know your thoughts on Bluehost, especially if you've personally had any experience with them. I'd love to know about it. Of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I'll reply to each one of them. Alright guys, so that's my Bluehost review video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.